Hey, what's up? Yo, what's going on? What are you doing on the iPad? I'm drawing dick. Really? Grow up. I did. Like your head. Hilarious. <laughs> it is, right? <laughs> what are you doing on the iPad Pro? Seriously, what are you doing? I'm editing a video. What, like stuff you shot on your phone? No. So, stuff you shot in your... Camera. Camera. Which camera? The Sony A6600? Like 4K. Like, yeah, 4K, 100 megabits per second. Why? You can't edit 4K video from a proper camera on an iPad. Yeah, you can. You know what you can't do, though? What? Rip off McKinnon's split personality bit, right? Come on, do the Squarespace thing. Can you really edit 4K footage and make something substantial on an iPad Pro using a video editing app like LumaFusion? So LumaFusion is, from an app perspective, it's cheap, but it can also be expensive. It's like, I think it costs 32 euros, which is about bare bones of 35 bucks or something like that. Not sure what it price does on your app store, but it's kind of similar to Premiere. It's kind of similar like any NLE, non-linear editing piece of software. And my first impression was, this is everything I dreamed of after having a nightmare with Adobe Premiere Rush, which literally nearly killed me with frustration. The intro sequence that you saw to this video was shot on the Sony A6600, and I'm using the Sony A6600 right now. And it was also edited on LumaFusion. Edit it. Here's the thing. First couple of tries on LumaFusion with 4K footage from the Sony A6600 was a nightmare. It imported the footage, fine, from you get your SD card and you get your uh, memory card reader. Stuff is falling down everywhere. You get it in. That's fine. The files imported fine. They got into LumaFusion and it worked. It wasn't really sluggish. You were able to scrub back and forth. I'm like, happy days. Premiere Rush struggled at times. So I'm like, this is great. This is great. Is this the perfect workflow? Is this the perfect mobile editing workflow? No more dragging around heavy laptops or any of that kind of stuff. You can do it all on the go. And then it crashed. I'm like, okay, it crashed once. Then it crashed again and again. And again, I know I probably heard you say and again there as well, and you would be right. LumaFusion crashed for the, uh, I, I lost count, but it was at least 10 times this thing crashed, which was incredibly frustrating. For anyone that's editing video, the easier your job is to go from cut to cut to move things around, the better because you can actually concentrate on what you're supposed to do as opposed to dealing with hardware or software that's failing or it's glitchy or buggy. There was a couple of problems here. Number one, I was trying to do a screen record within the iPad that would crash, which was fine. Lots of things going on, working with 4K 100 megabits per second video is heavy going for any kind of system. So it stopped the screen recording. Then it still kept crashing. And I couldn't really figure this out. So I closed down every single app, just use LumaFusion, still the same problem. Rebooted the iPad, did a complete kind of shutdown, power off and reboot, bang. Same thing again. I figured I spent so long trying to put this one 60 second sequence together, I could have had it done in, in like 10 minutes on the desktop here behind me. I was like, this isn't really working. I wanted to show you guys the screen capture, the time lapse of, of what was going on just for context. So what I did do was plug the iPad into an A10 mini from Blackmagic and recorded the screen that way in OBS there. I accept that I'm trying to show you this while editing the sequence is probably not the best thing to do because there's so much stuff going on and it still crashed and it was frustrating. I eventually got it cut after maybe an hour and a half, uploaded to Google Drive and I looked at it and I'm like, that's okay. It's a nice feature actually. You can upload directly to wherever you want from LumiFusion. So I was like, that's one thumbs up. Maybe you can kind of edit 4K footage from something like a mirrorless camera. Uh, and then I looked at the cut and I was like, ah, it's, I was happy with it, but I wasn't happy. So then I went back again and the whole thing for whatever reason worked flawlessly. It works really well when it works. I have no idea why there was so many times it crashed. The second time around, it, it just worked flawlessly. Can I recommend LumaFusion? Yes. Will everybody be editing like 4K, 100 megabits per second stuff from a Sony A6600? Probably not. 
it will work fine with stuff from your phone it'll work fine with stuff that you shoot from the ipad it's it's just it's just missing one or two things and i don't have that reliability on it now i know somebody's saying reliability adobe premiere pro reliable really vic yes you can edit 4k footage from a sony a6600 on you know what this thing has driven me so mad and i'm so determined to make it work i'm actually going to cut all of this talking head stuff and all of the b-roll i'm going to do it all in LumaFusion. so if this video turns up in may then you know it's taken forever but today is the 19th of april it's sunday it's 11 33 a.m i'm going to get all of this in to LumaFusion. i'm going to edit this damn thing if it kills me and edit it, I did, I survived. And you know what, LumaFusion, the iPad Pro did as well. This thing, whatever's happened, I don't know, but it has been rock solid for this entire edit. This is three hours, it's been going at it nonstop for three hours. The whole thing, including this, the B-roll, the animations, everything has been edited through LumaFusion, including the upload. And its render times are really good. All that said though, and here's the thing, LumaFusion is not without its limitations. It's buggy in places. The file management is a little bit all over the place. That's partially due to iOS and the way that manages files. It can be hard to try and find stuff. The fact that you have to kind of color grade each clip as opposed to an adjustment layer, everything. I get it, it's on an iPad. It's on an iPad Pro, but this is supposed to replace your computer. Will it replace the computer for me? It's not going to replace the desktop, absolutely not. It's still a little bit cumbersome the way it works with clips on the timeline. But all of that said, it is very good. Would it get me out of a bind? 100%. Will it get you out of a bind? 100%. Will it become my kind of second fallback option for editing video? I really want to say yes. And I, I think it will. I think it will because as long as you're aware of the limitations and you're not doing anything strenuous, you're not looking at PNGs or transparencies or mad transitions, it will work. I can't wait to see over the next while what they do with it from app updates. So far, LumaFusion right now has made this entire video in 4K. There's time lapses in there. There's iPhone footage, there's Sony A6600 footage, and it's worked with them all absolutely flawlessly. I've said flawlessly about 500 times in this video. But yeah, so that's cut. Huh? Continuity. I was the one wearing a hat. Yeah, it's all about continuity. See, McKinnon wouldn't have missed that. If, um,. You want to see a video about pure frustration when it comes to editing mobile video but might help you if you're doing very short stuff uh there's a there's a video there thanks for watching though don't stop fighting for yourself